Okay, here's the big question, Ginger. Who do you think you're going to vote for uh, for the presidential election? Anyone but Mittens. Okay. <laughs> I, will, I refuse to call him by his real name. He will always be Mittens to me. Okay. Mittens! Because then it sounds kind of cute. Do you, what's your biggest problem with Mittens? Um, he's shady, man. It's like... You don't know what he, he's about? Or, I mean, what's... He reminds me of, like, the dude that would own Walmart, if the dude that would own Walmart was still alive. Uh -huh. He has no more money than he knows what to do with, but tries to pretend that he ain't, and he doesn't. Dude, you're rich, okay? Just accept it. Just embrace it. Don't put on a plaid shirt. Do you, do you think he should release all his taxes? Um, his dad's the one that started it. Right. So maybe he should, you know, you know let some I more out. I think that what's going on with Mid is that he's worried that it's going to show that he's got tax havens everywhere. But what I would say, and I think this could be really good advice for him, is that he should just come out with all his taxes, release and them, get it over with now, and say, "Listen, this is legal. This is legal. I can do this. It's legal." And then turn it into a, say something like, "Okay, this is why we need to change our tax code and and make it into a win." situation but but I would at my defense of anything that I had in those taxes was it's legal. It's <laughs> perfectly legal. This is all still legal, y'all. Yeah. You could be outraged with me, but it's legal. It's legal. I wish I had enough money to hide in the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands are nice though. Are they? Yeah. They got yeah. giant sea turtles and you can go swimming around with them. If I was gonna hide money somewhere, I'd sure as hell do it in the Cayman. Yeah. <laughs> You got nice surroundings to hide all your money.